sneaking this for you tonight. In tonight we've got browser Linux 362 Pre, so that's a pre beta alpha, etc. Now it gives you the option to have the Google Chrome browser, as it's so popular, so it's a good choice for him, whoever's done it. Nice guy he must be too. So I'll click on the old browser. And open it goes. I'm sorry for my internet connection again. It's been on the slow side. So anyway, browser Linux, Firefox built, it was two with Google Chrome installer. That's what we got, but we're using the Google Chrome browser at the moment. Right, we'll go to the home page. Now, as you can see, it's only 75 megabyte download. So, pretty small, take a couple of minutes to download. I've tested it on EPCs and other netbooks, and it's blisteringly fast. There's the download link. Nice, super duper fast. And he's just listed some stuff there, the different changes, the different builds he's done. So, hey, super duper. Like it. If you scroll down, you'll get some more links and it tells you more about putting on USB. So there's the link for the Chrome browser, extra 20 meg, a bit more, you know what I'm saying? You also get the option to put the Microsoft Webcore fonts, etc. and Movie Player and Java for your Firefox, because you still get to keep Firefox. So we'll go back to home, and we're just going to check out the BBC page. This is a really quick video because it is only for web browsing this one really, nothing else. So there's not much more to show you really. So I'll go to the BBC home page. And you'll see how slow it comes up, as usual. There we go. But colours are good. It's well spaced out. Nothing's cramped or anything. We're going to check and make sure Mr. Flash is going to work. Because otherwise there's point just having it whatsoever, isn't it? Because if you're going to browse on a browser machine, you're going to be watching the YouTube videos, etc. iPlayer, like I'm doing now. So just make sure it works. And my frame rate capture, I've made a bit smaller here, but it does work perfectly. So don't worry about that. That's just my bit. Just to make the video smaller. Now, what else do you get? Well, not a lot really, because you don't really need it to browse the web, do you? You get your little bar down here, fuck it into wireless, your volume, network connection. Well, I'm on Ethernet at the moment. How much free space you got? And what your CPUs do? Over to menu, you can still use your Firefox browser, file manager, audio player, calculator, text editor, terminal, network menu. I'll show you how this works. Now, when you first boot it, it does auto connect. So if I just do this, network of net, up they see it, disconnects Ethernet, request the IP address for my Ethernet, and 54321 in a bit more. It's got me, acquired me address for me, and off you go browsing. Super quick, super fast. That's one big thing out of the way for a puppy. Remember, Browse Linux is based on puppy 4.3.1, by the way. Now there is other stuff on here, but it's hidden away. There. So you get Audio Mixer, install your browser links to the hard drive or whatever, you get Partition Manager, etc, YouTube Downloader, so there's little bits of stuff that you may need, but not a lot more. But if all you're going to do is browse, and you've got a netbook, and you've got a spare USB stick, lovely. Browser Linux 362, good for browsing, you know what I'm saying? Sneaky Linux going out.